Hey guys, so if you feel like your iPhone has gotten a bit slow and you try to make it just a little bit faster with everyday use, then this video is going to be for you because today I'm going to show you five easy steps to make your iPhone a lot faster on everyday use. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is unlocking your iPhone with Face ID a lot quicker. So typically when you go to unlock your iPhone, obviously you rise to wake or wake up your iPhone, swipe up and then unlock your device. Where there is a swipe gesture that you can use built into iOS to simply swipe up from the screen and not having to wake up your iPhone. So if you typically wake up your iPhone, swipe up and unlock, let me show you how to unlock your iPhone faster. So you wanna go into settings, you wanna head on over into accessibilities, you wanna go under touch and right here we have the option, right there it is, tap or swipe to wake. Now once you enable this option, all you have to do now is simply swipe up and unlock your device. You don't have to wake it up. You don't have to do anything else. All you have to do is swipe up and unlock your iPhone. And this is a faster way to unlock your device. Now, something else that many iPhone users are guilty of, and let me know in the comments down below if you do this, use all the Apple apps and put them in one folder, whether you use them or not. And this is a bad idea because you don't want your iPhone filled with applications that you don't use. Obviously, once you remove these apps, you'll get extra storage on your iPhone. Your iPhone's user experience will be a lot better as it's not indexing things in the background like tips or perhaps the news or the stocks or even journals. So if you don't use these applications, remove them from your iPhone. Again, I've seen so many iPhone users with a bunch of Apple apps that they simply don't use. So if you're not going to use them, make sure you remove those apps from your device. This will create more storage, will make your iPhone faster and your user experience a lot better. Now, Heptic Touch is one of my favorite features built into the iPhone. You can jump into sub menus by long pressing on different things around the operating system or double tapping and things of that nature, where you can actually make this action a lot quicker. So if you go into settings, if we head on over to accessibilities once again, and we go under touch, right here we have the haptic. So haptic touch right here by default, it is set to default. So slow, default, and then fast. So you can make the long presses a lot quicker and those sub menus will pop up a lot faster when you go to invoke them throughout the entire operating system. Again, this will make your user experience a lot better, smoother, and faster. In my opinion, I've always used the fast option. Again, that's going to be the under accessibility options. We go under touch and then we go under haptic touch and select fast. Now for this next one, I was actually quite surprised that not many iPhone users know about it, but this one allows you to navigate through different applications on your iPhone with just swiping on the bottom of the screen. So when you launch an application, probably you go into the app switcher, go back to the other app, just like so, where there is a faster way. All you have to do is swipe on the bottom of the screen, just like so, and you can switch through all your applications that are open a lot quicker. So take a look at that. Instead of having to go into settings, music, and then jumping back into the app switcher to go back into settings. All I have to do is settings, Apple Music, settings, Apple Music, and just like so, you can just make your iPhone's user experience a lot quicker by swiping on the actual bar here at the bottom of the screen. I was surprised that not many users knew about this one. Now for this last one, I'm gonna show you how to find things faster on your iPhone, and I can't tell you how many times I've seen iPhone users just browse through their entire phones looking for files or apps or photos when they can simply just use search or spotlight on their iPhone. So if you're looking for the weather, obviously you can just type in the weather. You can see the weather app. You can also see the weather forecast and things of that nature. You can do settings, obviously, and you get different settings options and toggles. You can enable or disable directly through spotlight, as you can see right here. Obviously, this also works within the photos. So if you search here for a car or cars, it'll give you all the pictures of cars using AI. We also have in settings, a search bar here on the top. So if you're looking for a specific option, you can find it right here directly within in settings and I can't tell you how many times I've seen iPhone users just browse through their entire phone looking for a file, a photo, or a setting and you can just simply use all the search options available within applications and even on the home screen with Spotlight to get as much done as quickly as possible. And there you guys have it. That about brings it into this video. Let me know if this video helped you in some way. If it did, don't forget to click that like button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.